Oh, hey there. Ah, oh, just my luck. Well, go take care of it. Get some of the levels. Just. <laughs> I wasn't gonna take you out, but I did. What's going on, guys? It's Doc Senko. And first and foremost, thanks for checking out the channel, y'all. Hey, this series is just about us three military vets just trying to have fun and, you know, make fools out of ourselves. <laughs> and, you know, pretend to be professional art players. Which we are. Not. <laughs> well, anyways. Hey, y'all. If y'all like this content, do me a favor. Hit that like button. And consider subscribing. And if y'all have any feedback, then leave it in the comments below. Well, Alright, y'all. I think that's enough of me jibber-jabbering. I say, let's get it. y'all all right i was thinking we just go ahead and start moving everything over to the outpost for the brood mother i uh, know i need you i had a lot more here I must all be at my southern base but yeah go ahead and grab all this stuff and then grab what we need from the southern base and uh go ahead and hatch some UDs. so I've been looking around off cam this whole time and I can't find a single thing that came anywhere close to that 120 that we saw. So I just say we go with it. I mean, if you really think about it on Ark Evolved, um, I don't think you could set the island to 150. I think you could do it like on the settings wise, but like actually seeing anything spawn on 150, never did. I might be 100% wrong on that. I don't know. I'm just saying from my experience. <laughs> but, yeah. So, what we need to do is uh, go ahead and breed the UD with the low level mill that we have. Get a higher level mill, kill the lower, and r rinse and repeat until we have one that's the same level as the female. So, with my settings, it shouldn't take too long. Probably like 10 15 minutes. But, yeah. So while we're making our way over there... Ooh. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly my point. <laughs> uh, I'll kill you later. Anyways. While we're making our way over to the Kibble Farm, I want to do a quick little plug. Y'all, we have a Discord that Steady Red Gaming made, and I'm, I'm new to it all. I heap knows a lot more about it than I do, but... If y'all want to join it, y'all, then I'll leave a link to the description. I believe it's a link that anybody can use to join. Um, and my point with that is, the whole point with my channel and what I want to do is, I want to build like a community, you know? Something that we can all have fun and, you know, just sit and joke around. So, that being said, it's still a work in progress. I think we just have two members right now, outside of those three, but... Yeah. Along with this, let's make that grow. And if anybody has any recommendations for it, then hey, shoot us the recommendations. We're open to feedback, y'all. But, plug over. Let's see if we can get all this stuff done. Yeah. Alright, gotta do a safety check. <laughs> and we're good. Go ahead and fly on in. Yeah. There we go. All right. I'm still undecided about these uh, megatheriums. Gonna take you out. I don't. I think ours will be good enough, but. If they're not, I still want to have these around. I don't know. I might just keep the original mom. But I got rid of the original male. I don't know. We'll see. It shouldn't be too hard. The team another one. Oh, this is another mod I downloaded, y'all. So, uh, Steady Red was wanting something like uh, 
where you can build castles. Kind of like castles, keeps, and forts on uh, Ark Evolved. I haven't seen anything like that come out. Um, but this is something that adds a little extra, you know? You can do like decorations, the lights, and all that. Um, this ornate bed, that's what I have in my base right now. So it, it's pretty cool. I'll have to do a little uh, tour once I finish decorating. I've been focusing on a lot of other stuff, so. But yeah, it, it's got a lot of stuff in here. Like stuff for the kitchen, make it look like an actual kitchen. Um, it's wood. I don't think I've looked in there yet. Okay, shelves and stuff. Not bad. Bowls. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else is there? Might as well look at it while I'm here. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, they got flags. They're not like um, the art flags where you can paint them though. They're just pre-decorated. But, all right. Well, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, y'all. Um, I'm gonna get the, uh, oh. <laughs> I might need to make some uh, kibble while I'm doing all this. Cause we're not gonna need those eggs after this, so. But yeah. I'll hatch a mill, bring the mill out, let it raise up, replace it, rinse and repeat. I'll bring you guys back once we're done. What level are you? Cause this is another issue we're having. Exactly. Because after the Broodmother, we need to fight the Megapithecus. And honestly, we could use the same Rexus for the Overseer. So... I want to find something higher than the 90 that we have. It wasn't even 90 when we tamed it. Uh, I'll leave you alive for right now. But, yeah, I had to make a trip back because I forgot I'm going to need a UD cell. So, went and crafted one real quick. Alright, do a little safety check. Anything around? Uh, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Come on. Let me in. There we go. Yeah. This place is super full. <laughs> Alright. You got one for me? You got plenty for me. But, we got him to the level. So, that'll work. Alright. Get you hatched up. This might be a good uh, demonstration of my baby settings. <laughs> Honestly, I've been doing so many videos back to back, I can't remember if I showed y'all anything or not. But, yeah, anything baby related, I've got it maxed out. Kind of works for us, you know? We still got our full time jobs. <laughs> and uh, that's the only. Uh, ooh! Bet you're not muted, but that'll work. Go ahead and kill the, the other one. Yeah, come on. And get you following us. But yeah, the only other mod that we have on here is the, um, what's it called? Imprint potion. To balance out my settings. But, there we go. We're gonna go with this one for now. I'm gonna keep them breeding. Um,. That way we can try to get some mutations for the rest of the boss fights, but we'll see how this does. I mean, I'll probably leave all my gear in for the first one, see how everything goes, and if it goes well, then I'll bring my normal gear out. If not, we'll just restart over. Uh, I got a name for you. Give me after one of my favorite uh, cartoons as a kid. It's, but yeah, as y'all can see, guys. Oh, uh, actually, okay, cool. So maybe that's the trick you gotta do it while their baby's growing up. Uh, the melee didn't go up, but it got the buff, yeah. So, Evergreen, when we did it, uh, she was already fully raised. So, well, cool. 
That'll work. This thing's a freaking beast already. <laughs> um, but yeah, it didn't take long, y'all. We got the 37. Right after that, we got the 107. And then the 152. And now this one. So, all in all, it took probably about 10 minutes. And that was just going through the eggs, trying to get the right ones. So, not too bad. Um, okay. So, I need to... Eh, what are you doing? You sit right there. I want to get some food to kind of heal you up. Uh, we got plenty. Start off with the 18s. Yeah, that should be good for now. Go ahead and put this in you. follow me back and I'll go ahead and skip this part y'all it's gonna be nothing but me just straight holding down the E button letting him eat <laughs> all right I think that'll be good enough for now go ahead and already got you on follow let's start making our way down to uh, the green ob oh wow that went up quite a lot. Uh, maybe that's the imprint potion. I don't know. All right. Oh, yep. Close you. Close you. Come on. Close. Get the G go inside. Okay. 833 for now. Not bad. Uh, that one ran away far enough, so I think we'll be good. That was a 145, though. <laughs> oh, what are you coming back for? All right, you asked for it. Oh, he survived a hit. Don't you do it. Uh-uh. I want you making a mess out of my base. Or my kibble farm, not my base. You coming? Come on. How'd you get stuck? Okay, there we go. All right. you out. I'm gonna run and close you real quick because you're following me. Nice. And I changed my colors again, but they're not the right ones. <laughs> trying to get the green to match um, evergreen. And I think... Yeah, I, honestly, I can't even tell you what color green that is. I just know it's green. <laughs> I took a screenshot earlier, so hopefully I can get kind of close. Hey, uh... They outdid themselves with the dies, that's for sure. You got a lot of different options. I need to see, um, because this might just be a me thing. Ooh, an alpha. I'm gonna take care of you real quick. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let's see, how many do we get? some of this prime meat. Oh. Oh, that'll work. Am I not eating anything? Or did it just give us that much? <laughs> yeah, right out of the, the gate. This thing's gonna be a beast. Uh, take you. Take you. Mm, I'll do a little bit and wait. Just because of the fact that we might use this for traveling all over the place. Oh, good lord. I think that's good. I think the rest from now on will just go straight into melee. Alright. Maybe I don't need to mutate them. Watch, I say that and we're going to die right off the bat. I have not fought any of the bosses yet, so... We'll see how it goes. Making our way on down. Well, you're a slow swimmer there, aren't you? Yeah. This is going to be the hard part. <laughs> just waiting for Evergreen to catch up. With the Megatheriums, we just had to make our way to the raft. So, that wasn't too bad. This one, we're going to have to go all over the place. 
basically from one end of the map to the other. It shouldn't be too hard. Alright. Kinda wanna keep y'all with me just in case anything exciting happens and I didn't really do that with the Mega Theorem, so. Sheesh. I need a high level one of you too. But I don't know, we'll see. If it gets too boring, like meaning we don't find anything to <laughs> make it worth our time. Then I'll probably just cut. But that's the secondary part of doing this. I want to try to go through the redwoods, the swamp, get a little more uh, tributes, but also, um, you know, fight the Rexes, the Spinos, all that stuff to get a couple levels. Because we still gotta breed the uh, Sloths and level them up. And I think I need to get one more uh, artifact because I didn't want to take from the pedestal so yeah I'm probably gonna do that off cam I mean y'all have already seen it once no point in repeating history right we'll see yeah come on you that's right give me a boost evergreen <laughs> nope that didn't work watch this is gonna be my look super uh, awesome beauty for what I can find so far. And it dies because I fall down. <laughs> All right. All right, so I actually did have to take a quick break there. Um, I needed to go find my tobacco. <laughs> That's my vice, y'all. What are you gonna do, you little devil? I gotta do my chewing tobacco. All right. Let's keep on making our way on down. Oh, we barely even did anything. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a little bit uh, quicker if we didn't have Evergreen falling. Oh, wow. You really gonna aggro to me? That's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> Alright. Well, this is kind of boring. I haven't seen a single Rex or anything yet. I mean, granted, it's only been like five minutes since I left the base, but still, you would think. Hell, y'all just lucked out. <laughs> I just sang a song and realized I had turned my mic off for a second. Yeah. Lucky y'all. I didn't have to hear me sing. <laughs> Alright. Keep on keeping on. Yeah. Come on. Watch, this is gonna make my computer crash. Come on, you. Get out of my way. Alright. Um. I think what we might do is get through here, make our way to Steady Red's base, because I think I remember there being a big opening into the Redwoods right there. Um. What I want to try to do is avoid this as much as possible. Because this is pointless. Why should y'all sit here and watch this? Me trying to make my way through trees. I can't even see anything. So, I think we'll try that. And I'll try to, I'll probably just cut, honestly, if I have to go through some thick brush. But, that wasn't too bad. I know there's not that much right here, so bring you guys forward. Little punks. Eh. Trying to go after my bird. Probably my favorite RG. I used to do um, like a white and yellow. So I would always nickname them uh, Angel. But, and that's what I was honestly going to do. But um, I saw this one and I was like, oh, I've got it. I got it. That pink one actually came out pretty cool too. That was... That was a really close contender, y'all. I nicknamed that one Rose. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, you're gonna take forever to get to uh, full health. <laughs> yeah. Those little bumps, they, they wore me. <laughs> Arc logic. It's not that far, but be enough to kill it. <laughs> oh. 
This is so freaking cool looking. I mean, I'm nowhere near even max settings and it still looks amazing. Come on, you. I love the Redwoods too. The Redwoods is I'm pretty sure it's almost everybody's favorite biome. But the snow is a pretty close contender, honestly. Oh, hey there. Ah, oh, just my luck. Well, go take care of it. Get some levels. Oh, just. <laughs> I wasn't gonna take you out, but I did. Did we get the trophy? We did not. Oh, yeah, we did. Nice, we got both. Watch, I don't even need the Megatheriums to do the boss fight. <laughs> Alright. Going on an adventure. Yeah, that should be Red's base up there. He has a drop point right next to his base. And there's my little trap that epically failed when we were trying to tame the Terror Bird. I want to take you out. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find plenty. What I need to take out every time I see one is the Spinos. Because those suck trying to find. Alright, come on you. Catch up. And I know it's been a while, but there's a Steady Red's base. His epic build right there. He did a really good job on y'all. On y'all. <laughs> I'm tired. Sorry. He did a really good job on that, y'all. <clears throat> Especially for, like, this series was his first time ever playing the game. So, he's pretty good. <laughs> Still trying to convince him to start his own YouTube channel. So, I think he would do good. He's taking a little break from Mark. Um, probably doing what I should be doing, honestly. Uh, waiting for everything to get done, get patched up and all that. And then Bojangles, um, he covers a couple different games, so we'll see him eventually. Alright. Let Evergreen do a little uh, catching up. And here we go. This is the part I'm a little worried about <laughs> every time I enter. Those dangerous places are the most beautiful places. <laughs> I guess I can apply to everything in life. <laughs> okay. Keep an eye out for micro raptors, little turds. Hmm. I want to see and test this out if the Thalus will still attack me. I don't think they will. I don't think anything will bother me on the UD. But it would be just my luck that something does. <laughs> so. Alright. Trying to take my time just in case they're perched up on one of these uh, redwood trees. A little Bigfoot. Probably tame one of those for uh, Steady Red. He did learn firsthand that it sucks uh, passive taming. <laughs> Just trying to follow it around, shove berries up its butt, and it would constantly attack them. Um, there's three bunched up together. I don't know how much uh, vertebrae I have back at the southern base, so might as well. Get some extra levels, anyways. Come on, you. Take you out. Come on. There we go. Two down, one to go. Alright, you. Aw, oh, crap. Well. <laughs> Two less in the world. I'm a horrible person. <laughs> They did good with those babies, uh, the Brontosaurus babies. 
It reminded me of uh, that old cartoon when I was a little kid. What's it called? It had the dinosaurs. It had its name was Littlefoot, um, Sarah, Petrie, Ducky. What was that called? Land Before Time? I think that's what it was. Y'all, I was a dinosaur uh, geek all my life, honestly. Like, the very first movies I remember having was The Lion King and Jurassic Park, which I probably shouldn't have watched as a little kid, but I did. And yeah, I've always loved dinosaurs, honestly. Growing up, I always said I was going to be a either an archaeologist or paleontologist. And then, you know, life happens. <laughs> uh, it changed my passion. I, I really enjoyed being, eh, being a medic, helping people out, you know. Alright. Yeah, we're in the swamp now, and I think it's going to be a lot of this. So, if we don't get out of this soon... I might keep my word and, uh, oh, I don't know. There's an opening right here. Okay. Yeah, we might be good. Let's see if we can find a way out of here. Oh. Going the complete wrong way. <laughs> well. All right, y'all. I'm gonna keep my word. I don't want y'all seeing. Well, I keep saying that, and then as soon as I say it, <laughs> we're already out. If it happens again for longer than three seconds, I'll cut. <laughs> there. <laughs> There's the opening right there, so. And we're out. Nice. Oh, he kept up pretty well through all that. Uh, go ahead and get some more uh, venom from me. I don't think I did. I'm still a little sore about the uh, Rhino Natha. <laughs> that was a big boo boo. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get it to respawn. Honestly, though, what I really surprised is. Um, I have not seen a Giga or the Carcharodontosaurus, whatever. Ooh. There we go. There's our look. Give me your cell. Okay, we got it. Nice. But yeah, I've been flying past that mountain constantly, just trying to see if we could uh, see one, because we're going to need those as trophies as well. Uh, and eventually tame them. I still have not tamed a Carcharodonto or Carchar, whatever. That'll be pretty fun to do. Alright. Go ahead and pump, pump, pump you up. Yeah, just do melee. Nice. Uh, this looks familiar. I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> oh, well, hey there. Little titanosaur falling from the sky. Okay, just make sure you didn't get stuck. And it is. Yep. This is our starter base. Uh, which, you know, that's all what I was whole, worried about the whole time. <laughs> Spinosaurs usually spawn right here. That and Baryonyx. So, it's a good way to end your uh, your start. Sorry, it's not a good way. It sucks. <laughs> but that's all right. We shouldn't have to go through any more trees now, so. Not my way, punks. Just keep on keeping on leveling up. Loving this little uh, beast up. Might be. Oh, nice. There's another one. That's usually the one I'm worried about. Uh, when you spawn in. Go ahead and take your cell there. Okay, we didn't get it. Gotta get down. Oh, come on. There we go. And take you. 
Oh, I hear music. No, it's just piranha. Oh, cool. But, yeah. I usually try to get out of this area as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, y'all. So, I have another series going, uh, which you all should check it out, by the way. That's the series where I'm testing out the mods. Um, and somebody recommended to put the Moros and Domital Duo on there. And I did. And good lord almighty, y'all, those things spawn everywhere. And, um, yeah. One spawned right over there by the starter base. And it destroyed my stuff. I had literally just two episodes before. Two or three, whatever. Um, just decided to move to Herbivore Island. So I got lucky on that. Yeah, those things are, uh, those are beast. <laughs> I gotta look at the dev page and figure out the attacks, though. Yeah, they have all the information on there. Just gotta actually get around to doing it. Alright. Evergreen's being slow. Get around. You know what? We might just go that way. That looks like a straight shot there. Close to Bo's starter base. He has not been over there in a while. I should probably do a admin check and go see if everything's still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I've been doing for them. Like, I no, they they got their reasons why they don't want to get on. So I'll keep everything alive for them. That way, whenever they do hop on, they don't have to sit there and struggle. Yeah, come on, you. You're so slow. Now Evergreen's catching up to you. Um, go around just a little bit more. Have y'all noticed that? Um, not the floating rocks. I know I need to fix that. But when you're not like super close to the Yeezy's face, it loses its teeth. There we go. This is the river. Hopefully we'll find another Spina. But yeah, it loses its teeth, and it is so funny looking. That and the otters, then the Avis, like, that just be might be my uh, computer. <laughs> but they look like they belong on PlayStation 1. Alright, we gonna get lucky? Nope. Nope, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, I guess go ahead and take it out. Get an old... I uh, can't talk. Get another one to respawn. Oh yeah. This is going to be a straight shot. Let's go around a little bit. Avoid swimming as much as possible. Keep on making our way down. Ooh. Get some Allosaurus brains. Thank you. Alright. Oh, there must have been a sheep mix in there. Got some nothing. Alright, cool. Uh, oh, yeah. I might have messed up. Alright, y'all. I'll tell you what. I ain't gonna poach y'all through that torture. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and cut, and then... Bring y'all back once we get closer. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I did that, because that was a good couple minutes of nothing but straight foliage in my face. <laughs> um, but we made it through. I mean, didn't miss much. Just killed two low-level Rexes, so. 
Gotta thin the herd and hopefully we'll get a, a decent one to spawn. And now we gotta make our way on around. That's the one hard part about this is uh, trying to make your way to the opening. There's two openings. So. Oh, and of course. <laughs> That's alright. There's not that much. So. We'll be out of it in just a second. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alright. That's a cool little area, too. A little waterfall. Oh yeah, it's pretty. With all the space rocks. <laughs> all right, we should be should be right here. Yep, there it is. And I'll just do a little uh, jumpy jump. If y'all don't know, I'm sure everybody does, but you hop off, they won't take any fall damage. But, cool. We made it. Go ahead and park this bad boy, and um, say we take Evergreen and go get our stuff from the southern base. Well, alright, y'all. This episode ran a little bit longer than I thought it would. Just trying to get over here. <laughs> It would have been a little bit faster if I didn't have to wait for Evergreen to catch up, but it works out. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I'll do this off cam, um, go ahead and bring the mega, if I can talk right, breed the Megatheriums, level them up, and collect any trophies that we we're still missing. Probably have to do a cave run or two, um, I don't know, we'll see. And then I think next, next episode we can take on our first boss. Hopefully we win. <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. But until then, I appreciate y'all checking this content out. And hey, if y'all liked it, do me a favor. Hit that like button and consider subscribing. Well, y'all, until next time, this is Doc Stenko. Take Motrin and drink water. And look at that beautiful, beautiful background. <laughs> yeah, I need to go to bed. All right, y'all. Until next time.